Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. Continuing its efforts from last year, Kyungi Province will assist venture enterprises and SMEs with the development and commercialization of products manufactured with 3D printers. Subject enterprises include those that possess growth potential but lack design and marketing capabilities. From August, assistant services also include on-site technical supervision provided in cooperation with Kyungi Techno Park and the Korea Institute of Industrial Technology. 3D 프린팅 이제 제품화 지원 사업은 도내 창업자 중소기업들 대상으로 창의적인 비즈니스 아이디어를 3D 프린팅 기술과 접목을 통해서 보다 구체적이고 실현 가능한 비즈니스 모델을 개발하고 이를 제품화 사업화할 수 있도록 지원하고자 하는 것이 목적입니다. In a recent investigation of 31 used car websites conducted by Gyeonggi Province, 95% of the items listed were revealed to be fake decoys that could not be purchased. Provincial authorities will send the operators of these sites to prosecution and have the sites closed. The province recommends that consumers use search services that list purchasable vehicles such as the public website car365.go.kr. Kyungi Province will continue to foster the e-sports and game industries during the second half of the current provincial administration's term. Making this announcement at a press conference on July 28th, Future Growth Policy Division Director Im Moon Young stated that the province has established industry promotion and exhibition plans through consultations with related organizations and specialists. These plans include the establishment of an eSports training center, the provision of 100 million Korean won in support to game SMEs for three years, investment in the growth of Play Expo, and the launch of a game addiction consultation center. Over the past year since Japanese trade sanctions began, Kyungi Province has introduced various swift response measures. In a continuation of these efforts, the province recently hosted a forum of industrial representatives, specialists, and Kyungi officials, as well as 36 National Assembly members, to discuss ways in which to realize independence in the materials, parts, and equipment manufacturing industries. As part of efforts to restore coastal environments, Kyungi Province has begun clearing Oido Port in Shihung City by removing illegal containers. The removal work was carried out by local residents on July 27th. Home to 59 vessels, Oido Port is a popular tourist destination that sees nearly 2 million visitors annually. At this port, a total of 76 tents and 43 containers have been illegally occupying spaces for business purposes for the past 20 years. Kyungi Province and Shihung City were able to secure an agreement with local fishing village residents for the voluntary removal of these structures. Tents will also be removed upon the settlement of a working schedule. Safety fences and other amenities will be installed on the cleared sites. A large number of waste disposal businesses that operated without licenses or left significant quantities of waste unattended for prolonged periods of time were apprehended in Kyungi Province. In a press conference held at the Kyungi Provincial Government Complex on July 30th, Kyungi Province Special Judicial Police Superintendent In Chi Guan confirmed that an investigation of 69 illegal trash disposal cases resulted in one arrest and 52 cases being sent to prosecution. Violations included 20 cases of unlicensed operations, 16 cases of illegal disposal and burial, and 13 cases of illegal incineration. Kyungi Province has been operating a trash disposal investigation task force since February and formed an additional team for northern provincial regions in March. Kyungi Province recently announced a new program to improve on-campus construction worker resting facilities in cooperation with 10 universities. Part of the current provincial administration's pledge to create a Kyungi in which labor is respected, 
This initiative is aimed at improving the resting and working conditions for on-campus construction workers who are indirect temporary employees. Through this program, the province will offer facility improvement support of up to 41.25 million Korean won to each university that provides related facilities for these workers. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.